guys, welcome to yet another video. Today we're going to tie this um, um, in between of Magnus and uh, the Slayer. It's a bugger um, with Coq de Lyon as a tail, a little crystal flash and uh, yeah, just want to show you guys the way I tie it. guys now we're at the Y so we start by fasten our thread just in front of the the hook eye and we'll leave about one one and a half millimeters in front then we'll take our bead chain oh it's a bit Need a little bit more light here. Maybe. That's better. Bead chain. It's in size medium. I'll just start by tying that one in with some figure eights. Like this. Go on the top and lock it in. I usually drag a little bit like that. We'll just move our thread all the way back to the start of the hook band and then we'll take it a little bit back again. And we'll start by using crystal flash. The usual thing in the color silver. Cut it in, I already cut it in, in half. So I cut it in, uh, in half again. So I get like two four pieces and then I like to cut it a little shorter, just a little shorter and in an angle. That way I'll get all the, the stripes in different lengths. Then I'll choose my feathers which I forgot. This is Coq de Lyon and we are using a feather from the middle of the the cape something like that and I've been trying a lot of different techniques by tying those in and it's absolutely the fastest one and I think the best one is not to to clear the stem from the fibers I get a little more fibers in and I can always lock it with glue so I'm looking for approximately one and a half hook length I'll just tie it in on the top of the hook in the beginning. And then I separate the feathers a little bit so I get them on the each side of the hook, drag it down a little bit and take some loose turns over like this and then I take a few wraps a little harder like that and then I'll just cut it right down and we save these because I don't want to throw them away it's 
a lot of material left on them so we will use them instead of take a whole new feather to uh, to hackle with we'll use these in a dub and uh, lube instead like that we'll take our glue and put a little glue over there and over our eyes and on the other side like that and now we're very happy forgot to mention the the hook I'm using is mustard it's 2x long in a size 6 in that case you can of course use whatever hook you you want I just I like the long body and now I'll make a little hot spot using uh, a UV eye stub in the color pink not much just a little bit like that we'll just make a little spot like that nothing fancy about that now we'll start tying in our rip it's just a, a nylon leader material it's um, this one is 022 I think I'll just fasten that one in there then we'll make a dubbing loop in that order like that and then we'll take our rip our gold and silver rib it's in a size small we'll tie it in with the gold side towards us and when we tie in all the the ribs the silver will show right okay the next thing is this senior fusion dub in the color fish mesh it's a silver dubbing with a little red sparkling threads in it or fibers it doesn't show much you can use any silver dubbing you want of course it's up to you the thing is it kind of disappears when we uh, hackle the whole fly but I just I like this this color a lot just like that just make a little body here not too thick body it's a little bit thicker than I used to tie it in but Sometimes it just you just go with the flow like this. You see by having the eyes a little bit further back you can hide all those uh, thread wraps and on the head too and still have plenty of space to finish off the fly now we'll take our silver ribbing 
and we'll make the first turn make sure the, the silver side is showing up like that and we'll take about four turns with that one or maybe five tie that one off and cut off the axis like that all right now we'll take our feathers and we'll put it in the Pechion magic clamp this one we'll just cut off the ends like that take our clam here take our long scissors cut away the stem like that now we have it ready for the dubbing loop. I like to put a little wax on, just a little bit, like that. It's the premium dubbing wax, super sticky formula from uh, Vapsi. Like it a lot. We'll put in our Our feather that we have prepared and we'll just extend it a little little bit because it's double and adjust the length of it this is about what I like to have it can you see it guys like that and then I cut it as close to the core as I dare like that and spin it like so you can uh, hackle it with a spinner or take a clam as I do I'll just hackle it and I want the silver to show so I try to get the, the hackle just in front of it. Like that. One there. And then I go in front of the eyes with the rest. And tie it off. Cut that one off. make a little half hitch you can do it any way you want I just do it this way because it's a lot faster and because we make the ribbing that way over and the hackle and now we're gonna lock it with this nylon thread here we'll take it the opposite way over then we'll lock everything in with tied in so when the fish start chewing on it like that it will hold a lot better we'll just cut it off like that moist your fingers in those corona times you should never ever actually even when you're tying commercial use saliva I don't think it's very fresh to do that actually throw on a few V finish like so now that fly is 
pretty much done. The thing I used to do is uh, and drag everything back, take my lighter and make sure that the nylon and all the fibers sticking out there. Burn off before I set the glue on. It's just sap a gap. You can use UV glue or whatever glue you want, of course. And now the, the fly is done. You can just mess those fibers up a little bit. If you want. The fish will help you. First, second, the third. <laughs> all right guys that's all for this time I'll uh, put up some photos of uh, the other variation of it it's the one in brown pretty similar so I hope you liked the, the video guys and uh, I hope you will See you in the next one too.